Okay, so what we're doing today is we are actually making a grill for a 2012 Ford Fusion. You want to show them the car? And uh, what happened is this grill was lost and we were gonna we buy a new one, but they're really pricey, so we decided to just make one. So we got half of it done to show you. And what I'm using is I went to Lowe's and I just bought, this is a rain gutter cover, okay? It's gonna come with a little bend in it right here. And all we do is just straighten it out by hand as much as, much as you can, just like that. And then we're gonna use the hammer and a block of wood to flatten it out the rest. And I'll just kind of show you. It's really easy. You can just kind of see I'm just bending it into shape a little bit. So if you do this, don't be afraid to just bend this stuff because it will flatten out. I'm going to use a block of wood. And you can see it's got, it's raised up right here where it was bent. We're going to flatten that out too. When I'm done, this will be completely flat. Take your time and I'm going to tap it on, on both sides to really make sure it's flattened out. You may know of a better way to do this. This is just quick and easy for us. As long as you have something flat to hammer it on, it won't go flat again. side cutters to cut this. It's real easy. And it doesn't have to be 100% accurate because it's going to fit behind and all the excess is going to be covered up by the bumper cover. So what we're going to do 
do next is pick up the car. Luckily we have a lift to use and just put it in from the back and mark where the little uh, these notches right here are gonna slide into it. So we're just gonna mark these so it'll slide onto it like it did right here on these. Just like that. And that's where they're actually gonna hold it in. So what I'm going to do is just put this where I want it. I'm going to push it up between the bumper cover and the bumper support and get it lined up where I want it and then I'm going to mark where these tabs are. I'm going to have to cut that out. I don't know if you can show them this on the camera, Tony, but it's got these little plastic watches right here. them on this side. The sunlight's probably not helping at all. <laughs> Bummer. So what I'm going to do guys is I'm just going to mark where these tabs are so that I know where to cut them. Now I really hope you can see what I'm doing. one of these you wear some eye protection. Safety is number one priority. Yeah. See I'm not worried about making these perfect because that little plastic tab it's gonna slide into here will bend and move. So it will go on there. Alright, 
Let's see, let's we'll see if it fits. All right, so I'm gonna work it back in underneath the bumper cover in between the bumper pad. The sunlight is not helping at all. That's just grinding. Me. You can kind of see these tabs are kind of lining up. There we go. We got a little one inch overlay right here. back it up and kind of look at it from a different view. Guys, let us know what you think. If you like it, give us a thumbs up. Uh, we're going to try to start posting more stuff like this to help you save money. And we appreciate you guys watching. Thank you.